This is Shattered Pixel Dungeon version 1.0.3. A little walkthrough for new players of the game. I made this mostly for the benefit of my uh, friend who's very new to the game and getting kind of discouraged because uh, roguelikes are so hard. They're really hard. Um, this is a traditional roguelike which is procedurally generated and uh, uh, turn-based. And I must have played this game like 200 some odd times before I even got close to getting to the end boss. So, I mean, don't be discouraged if you're playing this game and it's too hard for you. Um, we have a saying in the roguelike community, YASD, yet another stupid death. So, uh, I'm just going to show you, um, I might even die. I might even die on this run, but I hope not to die. I'm just going to show you the first dungeon stage and give you some tips and tricks that you can use on your way. Um, let's start a new game here. I'm going to uh, delete this old save here that I don't care about. I'm going to start a new game. Um, we've got the character classes here. We've got a Huntress who uses this uh, spirit bow with unlimited ammo. Um, the Rogue who has a cloak of invisibility can turn invisible at will and backstab. Mage who uses a, a staff and, uh, and can imbue that with the power of a, of a given wand. And the Warrior who's kind of your average tank and his uh, special ability is to use this um, it's got a special item, the uh, uh, Warrior's Broken Seal, which is this this seal you see on his uh, on his armor that will take with it one upgrade. Upgrading is a pretty important part of the game, so we're going to show you that in a sec. Alright, so this is... I've entered the dungeon. Um, I'm not going to read all of this uh, this flavor text to you because it's... Um, well, it's flavor text. You can read it on your own. Uh, suffice to say, this is just a little explanation of of what these uh, what these sewers are, the level one dungeon, and you can see around me here, I've, I've got a bunch of tiles. It's you know tile based. Um, one of these tiles is grass that you can walk through. Uh, no, nothing happened there. Sometimes uh, grass will drop either a, a little um, drop of dew, which heals you, or a seed, which can be used for special things. I'm gonna kill this uh, this marsupial rat up here. This is the level one or the stage one uh, main enemy here. Okay, I don't want to uh, hit him too many times with my rocks, but this does help soften him up. Wait for him. Uh, waiting you can do by pressing this little, here, this little uh, clock face. Um, in the PC version, which I'm playing, I'm actually playing the Linux version here, not the Android version, which I usually play. Uh, you can use the space bar as well, but I'm not going to wait too long for him. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to back up here, and then I'm going to wait one turn so he goes through the door. Oh, oh, I've lost him. There you go. We're gonna go back through the door. Going back through the door is important because it means I get a free shot, a surprise attack. Uh, and he can't use his armor. Okay, so here's another marsupial rat. Um, just within my line of sight here, it looks like. Can I back up even? Okay, yeah, I can. So he's awake now. Um, that's no matter. Uh, we've got these two dart traps around him. I'll show you this dart trap here. This is just a regular dart trap does physical damage only and it's not hidden. Um, a lot of traps are hidden. You gotta be really careful where you're stepping. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, because these dart traps, they will attack the nearest object, or rather the nearest um, the nearest living thing. I'm going to trigger one here. I'm gonna trigger this one because it's definitely closer to him. This one seems about equidistant, maybe not. Um, I'm gonna trigger this one here. It'll hit him once and then I'm out of stones because I've just used all my stones. I throw my food ration on. Oh. Oh crap, now I can't. Okay, that was silly. Um, I'm not used to using this interface. I'm used to using the. Uh, I throw my, my wineskin at uh, the trap here. There we go. Okay, that got him. I should not have eaten that food. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm used to using the Android touchscreen interface here, so uh, it's a little odd playing this game. Using the PC version here, the, uh, the, whoops, oh crap, there we go. So what I did here was I, I lured him right next to me, uh, and then he stepped into where I was. So I'm gonna walk around this wall here, and now I've got a free shot on him. Back up one. Another free shot. Yeah, because he can't dodge when he can't see me. So, it's a very dangerous place to be. 
you walk through a door. That's a, a scroll here. These scrolls are... That's, I can't identify it. Um, but it, it might be an upgrade scroll. There's uh, For every dungeon stage, there's two upgrade scrolls, which are the best scroll, like the most important, I should say, scroll. Um, and it upgrades your armor. I can check it, but what I'm going to do is... Uh, oop, there's another... Right. I can't... No, that, that uh, dart trap's not going to get him. For another stone. I don't uh, I don't like wasting my stones. I've got three stones, but the stones all have... Um, they all have uh, lifespan. See? Throwing it the second time said my thrown weapon is about to break, so I'm going to lose... Next time I throw that stone, I'm going to lose one. Um, that snake there... The snake... You can only hit by surprise, really. I mean, you can you can hit uh, not by surprise, but it, uh, they can dodge really well. But they've got no armor and no hit points to speak of, so it's better to hit them with something that can't miss, such as going back through a door like I just showed you and letting them come to you, or if I throw this stone at this dart trap. It's a sure thing. Dart traps never miss. Okay, get another rat. Okay. Oh boy, that's a room full of uh, traps and some food, which I desperately need now that I've eaten my food early on in the game. So if you uh, if you run out of food, you end up slowly starving. It's not great. Oh, look at that snake. There you go. That aggro the rat. I'll just wait for him. I'm pressing spacebar here to uh, wait if I could be clicking this thing. Oh, there we go. That ah, got him. Alright, so I've gained a level. Let's see what that gives me. Um, great. Experience is back down to zero. Uh, 15 is the next level. It gives me some talents. Uh, I've got talent points here that I can spend on uh, on tier 1 talents. Um, this talent here is hearty meal. Uh, if I eat, if I eat uh, a meal, it gives me a couple hit points back. This one here is um, Arms Master's Intuition, which helps me identify weapons and armor faster. This one is Test Subject, which um, helps you uh, heal when I identify an item. Um, Iron Will increases the maximum shielding I get from my uh, my warrior's broken seal. But that's that's one of the abilities. Uh, aside from keeping an upgrade with it, um, it has the ability to shield you in addition to your health as long as the armor that you're wearing has it. So, let's see now. Um, I think that's probably a good one to take. Because it's always going to be there. I'm going to upgrade this one here. All right. Oh, here's some stairs. I always like to go down the stairs and check out what's here in the first room of the next level. But then not explore, just go back up to the uh, dungeon level I was on. And that means that if I fall down any of these holes, or if I, uh, you know, fall down a uh, pitfall trap, that means I know where I am. I'm not going to be lost. I'll know which way to the exit, and I can get there quickly in case I'm in over my head. All right, so um, that's the end of this dungeon level. Um, so there's a, a food over there. Yeah, okay. So that food... That food has got to be accessible with something that I've picked up on this dungeon level, because because the uh, the game doesn't give you a secret room or a puzzle that you can't solve with the things on that level, with the exception of the um, the wells, which we'll uh, we'll probably see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drink both of these potions, um, and because I don't know what these potions are, one of the potions might be a flame potion, and if that if that's not a scroll of upgrade, the only non-flammable scroll, and I drink the flame potion, it might burn the scroll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink these potions while standing on water so I can easily move into more water and uh, put out the flame, or move out of the water even. Just moving will put out the flame. Drink this golden potion here. And I'm floating. Okay, that means i got to get out of here before the floating wears off. Good. Got that food. Because I floated over the traps and didn't trigger a single one. Okay. Alright, well that's, uh... That's the first floor. Um, 
what should I do here? Should I try this scroll? Now, you know what I like to do? I like to go down to the next level. I like to go down to the next level and try the uh, the scrolls in case it's a scroll of magic mapping. Because if we've already um, if we've already mapped out the previous level, I read this scroll, and it's magic mapping. I will have wasted it. So I'm going to read it now to see what happens. Yep. Okay. So it's a scroll of upgrade. Um, I'm definitely going to upgrade my armor. Uh, when you're when you're a warrior, you don't need to worry about that because you've got that broken seal. The upgrade will apply. At least the first upgrade will apply to the seal, and not the armor. And you can move that seal between armor, so uh, no matter what, I will always now have the ability to upgrade whatever armor I'm wearing uh, by one level, unless it's like cursed or not yet identified. Okay, so that's uh, that's floor one of Shattered Pixel Dungeon version 1.0.3. Let's move on to floor two.